Hi guys, it's Matt. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video to show you guys a few basic knots that I think you're going to find very useful and they're going to come in very handy. Alright guys, so we just got a stick and a little bit of paracord here to show you a few knots. So everybody pretty much knows how to make a half hitch. It's your most basic, simple knot. You go around something and you tie it on. That's done. And you can secure it two half hitches sometimes which makes it kind of like a slip knot and makes the half hitch less likely to come out all right and you can see it it slips in and out and it's a fairly secure knot but not the best knot all right but it's a basic knot and most of your other knots start off with the hitch very similar to that all right so the first hitch i want to go over with you guys really well it's called a clove hitch this is a very good knot for starting the rope on something so you can lash things together or to make a line like a, a ridge line if you're going to put up a shelter or just any way to fasten a piece of cord to something solid. Alright so there's two basic ways to make it. If you've got an open end on a stick so that you can slide the rope over you're going to want to take your rope and you're going to want to make two loops. You can take one hand and pass it behind the other, all right, and then you're going to do the same thing again the same way. And you're going to take your second loop that you made and you're going to put it over the top of the first loop you made, all right, so it kind of looks like that. And then you're going to slide it down on whatever you want to bind the knot to and you're going to pull it, okay. So now that's a clove hitch. That's what it's going to look like. It's a very secure knot. It can slip sometimes, but it usually holds very, very secure, especially when you're pulling in a straight line. All right. But if you want to make it more secure and less likely to slip, you can take the half hitch and throw it in, and now it won't slip. Now it's going to bind right up on itself. It's a very strong, solid knot. As like I said, it's good for starting. <clears throat> any sort of a lashing you're going to do to tie things together or to make a tripod and there's another way you can do it if you have like a pole fixed between two points so you can't get to either end if neither ends open you're going to want to tie it this way all right and try to do this one handed so you're going to take your end and you're going to come over the top I'll do it so the camera can see me you can come over the top and then you're going to go in front of the long end and you're going to go back up and over and then back through so that your two lines are facing opposite directions. So basically what you have is almost two half inches in opposite directions and you can pull it tight. All right, I'll show you that one, one more time because that one can be confusing. And if you want to loosen it up, you just pull it back and forth from both ways and it loosens up pretty easy. All right. So we're going to go around and you're going to go in front and then you're going to come back up over the top. I'll get it backwards for the camera. Hang on guys. All right. So we're going to go over the top, go around the front, back up the same way and then you're going to come through so that your string or your ends are both in opposite directions like that and then you're going to pull it tight. And again, you want to make it less likely to slip, carry it with the half hitch, kind of use it like a jam knot. All right, so that's that's an excellent knot to know how to do. All right, now along the same lines as a clove hitch, we have what's called a timber hitch. All right, same thing. This this makes a little bit more like a slip knot when you're tying it around something. And again, this one's good for starting off with like lashing or if you're going to make a ridge line for a tarp or really just any way to start a knot that you want fixed on a point and you want it to hold secure. Now the timber hitch works better with natural like handmade cordage. Like if you were to go out, make your own cordage from grass or bark. And we're going to be teaching you guys that in the future, in the future videos. But first we want to get through the basics. All right. So to make a timber hitch, you're going to take whatever you want to start lashing to and you're going to go around and then you're going to go through and make a loop in it like that okay 
So you see how if you hold it, it's kind of like a slip knot. And then what you're going to do is the end that you went around with, you're going to go around itself one, two, three times, just like that. All right. And you basically made a slip knot. And when you pull it tight, it all binds on itself and it holds very, very secure. And this knot's really good with the natural cordage because it doesn't bind too much on itself that it'll cut it. You know, if you're using grass or vine or something like that, it could cut it. But this is a very, very solid way to start like a lashing or to make some sort of a toggle. All right, so now we've learned the clove hitch, the timber hitch, and the half hitch. So we're gonna go on another super useful knot that I, one of my first knots I learned how to tie right after tying my shoes. My dad taught me how to tie a bowline. And it's a way to put a loop in the end of your rope, the cord, that is extremely secure and very easy to come untied. All right, this, this knot is used in, uh, you know, in the Navy, on ships, by climbers. It, it is an extremely important knot to know how to do. And like I said, it's good for putting a loop in the end of your line which can then give you a slip knot. Um, but let's get started on the knot. Now, there's a million uses for it. I could go on all day. All right, so you get the bowline. You want to have the dead end in one hand and your live end in the other, okay? The running end. And you're going to take and you're going to cross the short end over the top and then you're going to give it a little twist to put a loop in there, okay? So you get the, the loop like that, all right, and then you're going to take this end and you're going to go under the running end and back down through the same hole or loop it came out of. So it's going to kind of look like that, all right, and then you're going to pull it tight. And this is, this is an extremely secure knot, very strong, okay. And like I said, you want to turn it into a slip knot real quick. You pull the line through, and you can put it around whatever you want. And you get a nice, strong slip knot to start it off. And it comes untied very easily. All you want to do to untie it is you take the top loop, and you're going to pull it up and untie the rope. All right. So I'll show you that one one more time because this one can be kind of tricky. I was just a kid, but it took me a few times to learn how to do it. All right. So you're going to come over the top and you're going to give it a twist to make a loop with the, the end in it. All right. And you're going to take that end and you're going to go under and then back down through the loop. All right. And if you are worried about it slipping, which it really won't, you can also secure it with another half hitch like that just to give yourself a little bit of extra security. You know, use it like a jam knot on the end. And Alright guys, so well, I hope you enjoyed that video and found it informative. Those are just a couple knots. i got many more knots I'm going to teach you, but I don't want to bore you to death and make one video too long. So please remember to subscribe to our channel. Click the like button down there and uh, keep watching. And I want to give a special shout out to Aiden, my cameraman, whose YouTube channel is Exclusive Gaming. X-C-L-U-S-I-V-E Gaming. No spaces, all one word. I'm going to put a link in the description. You should go check out his channel. He puts up all kinds of tips, tricks, and stuff on cell phone video games if you guys are into that sort of thing. Again, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our Facebook page, and we'll see you in the next video.